be making bases. What's going on YouTube? It's your man Ever J. I'm the owner of Beat Making Basics, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you two plugins that you can use to instantly add sauce to any any sample that you might want to use in your beats. Okay, check this out. This is the sample. All right, uh, before adding these two plugins. Samples super hard now, right? You don't necessarily need to do anything to it, but let's just say if we want to add a little sauce to it, the two plugins that I would recommend using is one reverb and two EQ. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how you can you know add the proper reverb and add the proper EQ now. So this is our inspector window. This is where we're gonna be able to see our two plugins. As you can see, I have the EQ already plugged up and you know EQ'd out. So I'm gonna let you listen to it again without the EQ and then I'm gonna let you listen to it with the EQ and I'll tell what I just did. Okay, that's the vibe without the EQ. This is the vibe with the EQ. gives it a little more sauce as far as a sample being used in your beats. Um, and all I did here on the EQ is I cut out majority of the lows, okay? There's still a little low going on in here, but the majority of it is pretty much cut out. And then I just rolled off some of those highs as well, probably around up to 4K, just kind of rolled those off. So, I mean, that's gonna really give you, any sample's gonna sound dope with that. Anyway, I was about to go to a whole nother beat because the sauce was so saucy, you know what I'm saying? Just with the EQ. Second thing we're gonna go ahead and do is show you how that reverb is gonna really take that sample up to the next level, and add some sauce to it. So I'm using what's called the Vahala Room. The Vahala Room has a lot of different cool features. The main things I want you to pay attention to is how you adjust the decay, which is gonna be how long the sample is gonna drag out um, as far as the reverb. And then the high cut is going to be how much highs you're going to hear in the actual reverb. And the depth is going to be how, you know, how deep the sample sounds. So, like, basically, are you going to be in a cathedral or are you going to be in a small room? You get what I'm saying? And then, of course, you can, you know, mix however amount of the reverb into the channel. Okay, we got some pre-delay. I keep that down here. Decay, you know, I don't want too much of that highs i like highs on, on, the, on the sample you can always adjust that to your liking and we got that so let's, let's check it out before and then let's check it out after this is before all right now this is after There you go. It's how you're gonna add sauce to any sample that you want to use with two plugins. The two plugins are reverb and EQ. I know it's a simple um, you know, tip here, but man, I'm telling you, put those two plugins on any sample and it's gonna bang in your beats.